guys and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be creating this eye look by using this palette. It is the Deuce by Juvia's Place. It is a beautiful palette. If you guys have not seen it, I highly suggest you watch this little video and check it out. And yes, if you want to know how I created this look, and just keep on watching. All right, so I do already have my face done. Um, I'll leave a picture somewhere over here showing you what I have on my face, but I didn't want this video to be super long. I just wanted to do this quick eye look. So let's hop right into it. We're going in with The Deuce by Juvia's Place. And the first color I'm going to pick up is Berry Mousse right here. I'm going to use this just to set my eye. So I'm just kind of putting it all over. It's basically the same color as my skin. I'm just setting my concealer and everything that I put onto my lid. All right. Now I'm going to go in with cream right here, the pink one, and I'm going to apply this and I'm using my Tom Ford number 13 brush. I'm going to apply this as like a transition-y kind of color. Ooh, it's falling. The only thing I hate about Juvia's Place palettes is that there is no mirror included. So I gotta go in with this other little mirror, which means I can't be holding the palette, so the palette's gotta sit on my lap. So I'm just building up this cream color, the pink color here. And once you have it the way that you want, we are going to go in with a MAC 217 brush and I don't know, I'm going to go in with crepes down here, this medium warm brown shade. I'm going to put this in my crease and in my inner and outer corners just getting a little bit more of that same shade just to build it up a bit and back in to do the other eye If you guys have not tried Juvia's Place and you've been thinking about it, I highly suggest it. I have quite a few of their palettes and they are all amazing. So I'm just still using that medium brown shade. I'm just layering over and over until I get it to the intensity that I kind of want, which I think I'll be fine there. Now, I'm going to go in with chocolate, this deep brown shade, and I'm going to, actually, I'm gonna use a different brush for this. I'm going to go in with my MAC 239 brush and back in with this dark chocolate brown shade and I'm going to press this into my inner and outer corners to really deepen because I am going to do a halo eye. A 
have been enjoying doing the halo eyes lately. I kind of go switch between, oh, I'm all blurry. Kind of switch between the looks that I do. All right. I'm just doing the same to this other eye. Just slowly pushing it into the inner and outer corners. And then I drag the excess through the crease. And you just keep kind of going back and forth until it looks the way you want it to look. Excuse me while I get these somewhat not crazy looking. And now I'm going to go in with my Tom Ford uh, back in with this cream pink color and I'm going to go just around the outer edge with this I'm going to do the same to this eye I just want to diffuse this line a little bit soften it up That's looking a little better. Just want to, I need to deepen this eye up a smidge more. Okay. Now, I'm going to take a little bit of the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. So I'm going to put a dot on the back of my hand, like so, because I'm going to carve out my halo. And I'm using the Juvia's Play 002 Small Definer Brush to do this. I absolutely love this brush set I got from Juvia's. The quality of them is amazing. They apply a product beautifully. They're soft and they were super affordable. Excuse me while I just pounce this in. And once you have it placed where you want it, it should look something like this. So now this green color right here called Macaroons is calling to me. I think it's going to look beautiful with the brown. So on that same brush that I just did concealer with, I'm going to put it on and I'm going to get it wet with the ColourPop All Star Setting Spray. And I'm going to pop that right in the center of my lid. That shade is gorgeous. Beautiful shade. All right, I'm gonna put some on the brush and get it wet again for the other side. Now, as you can see, I'm not doing sweeping motions. 
and doing it like stamping motions. I'm just pressing it onto the lid to begin with. A little bit more on the brush. And you just go back and forth and build up until it's to the intensity that you want. I think I have it there. So now that you can see these crazy lines, I'm going to take my MAC 239 back in with that deep chocolate brown. And I'm just going to kind of go over these edges where the two colors meet, just to blend them in a bit. You want more of a soft line than a harsh look at me line. There. Put some more on there to do the other eye. want to soften. All right, now this is just my Tom Ford with nothing on it. Give it a quick blend over. Oh, this eye is starting to leak. Oh no. Anyways. Now for my lower lash line, I'm going to start by taking some of the pink cream color. I drag that all the way underneath. And I'm going to dip into that deep chocolate brown. Place some just in the very outer and inner edges. Kind of blend it out. Now I'm going to take that green shade. I'm going to use it wet, of course. And I'm going to stamp it right in the center. Just like so. I don't know if I'm focusing there. Now for what else do we need to do? My brow bone, I'm going to go in with Tarte right here. It looks like it's got some kind of duochromy shift to it. I'm just going to lightly place some of that right under the eyebrow. That went on pretty pigmented. I think I might want to blend that out a little bit. I was taking my brush. Just blending over that a bit. And for my inner corner, I'm going to go in with the same tart color. Get some of that off. The same tart color. I'm going to get it wet. And I'm going to push it right in there. That's a pretty color. All right, guys, so now that it's looking where I want it, 
I'm going to be back with complete finished eyes. So as you can see, my eyes are done. For my lashes, I'm wearing the IT Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. It is amazing. Top liner is the Kat Von D uh, ink liner in Trooper. On my bottom, I'm wearing the Maybelline New York Color Show. Um, what color is it in? 300? Just this greeny kind of color. I think it turned out beautiful. On my lips, I wanted to wear like a cool tone, kind of pinkish. So I'm going to mix these two little MAC ones together. We have Dodgy Girl here and Nude Du Jour. So I'm going to start by applying a little bit of this one. And it's just too pink. But I did want there's some pink in the eye look so I did want to kind of mimic that but I'm going to put nude du jour on top of it and then I have a nice cool tone nudish pink color and I'm craving a little bit of sparkle to go with this today so I'm going to go into my trusty little drawer I'm going to pull out the Fenty Beauty Diamond Balm in how many carats it is a beautiful highlight. I'm going to take some of that and just start applying it. It is stunning. Let's see if I can't get the camera to pick it up. I mean, it's beautiful. It really is. All right, guys. And to finish it all off, I know I used the Mario Bandescu to set, melt everything into my face when I first did my face base, which you guys did not see. But now that it's all done, I'm going to use the ColourPop All-Star Setting Spray. And let me just wait for this to dry into my skin. All right, we are back with the final look. So let me get up closer. Love. The highlight. I say that every time I do this, but I love highlight. It's my favorite part. What do you guys think of today's look? This is a beautiful little palette. I truly do love it in this shade right here. It matches my nails. Oh my God, look at that. Such a stunning silver shade. They're all beautiful. Anyways, guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And if you would like to be notified of any upcoming videos, then you know you gotta hit the bell. And until next time, I hope you have a great day.